Hey y'all, I got a couple quick points based on some herp de derp comments I got on some of the videos from last night. So first off, people keep saying, well, if Palestine was a country or whatever, show me its kings or presidents or something. And I'm like, well, first off, I didn't say it was a country. It was a region. It was a name for the area. Uh, if you're thinking about well, countries and you know the the justification in calling themselves that. Well, Italy wasn't a country until 1864, but the name goes back to the Romans, to Italia. Um, uh, Germany wasn't a country until 1871, but the name also goes back to the Romans, to Germania. I mean, so it's just nonsensical. It has nothing to do with what I said. And the other thing is that it betrays a very common misunderstanding, some very basic um, political philosophy terms. So put simply, a nation is a group of people with something in common. What that is depends upon the nationalism itself, like the, because nationalisms are always political projects that selectively pull things from the past and assemble what they think of as, ah, this is our national identity. Uh, so they're they're inherently made up in a sense, but based upon real elements in the world. But a nation is just a group of people. A nation is not a country. They they just aren't. Um, a state is the uh, political institutions. So laws, borders, policing, all that kind of shit. So a state can be like any levels too. So like California is a state, but so is the United States also a state. It just means governing institutions. A country is governing institutions that have sovereign control of land. Make sense? So we can talk about the Sioux nation, but not a Sioux country, if you're thinking in terms of like the, the Native American populations. Or in, in Palestine's case, we can talk about Palestine as a nation, because there are Palestinians who have a distinct identity, and as a state, because it has governing institutions, but Palestine isn't a country because it has no sovereign control of land. It is literally controlled by the Israeli state. Does that help at all? They're all different things. You can't just throw around these terms and have no freaking idea what they mean. I mean, nation has a very specific meaning in every fucking dictionary and that people are constantly using it to refer to countries makes no sense at all. And again, this whole idea that Palestine needs to have been a country is stupid considering that none of the Middle East countries were countries. Syria wasn't a country. Iraq wasn't a country. They were regions. They were parts of larger empires and conglomerations. That's also true of nearly all of Europe. I mean, what the hell? I mean, most of these places were never actually countries with those names. They were parts of other different countries. But today, no one's going around saying, well, there shouldn't be a this, that, or the other country. I mean, in Europe, it's it's only specifically about this kind of stuff. So it's political in nature when people make this shit. And ultimately, it's kind of racist. So maybe cut the racist shit out and just try to apply these things the way they are defined. Hmm, what a concept. Good morning.